Welcome back to The Big Picture. I'm here with Danny Neverth and Joey Reynolds, two recognizable names, at least to at least a couple of us in Western New York. Uh, welcome back, guys. Well, <laughs> I'm offended. You mentioned Marconi, and you never mentioned how mean he was to Joey and myself. I know. Okay? He I know. would bring <laughs> us in and say, I'm inventing this thing, and you kids can go and talk and play music and stuff. And he'd say, but before that, give me your hand. And he would put our fingers on the wire. Ah! Like, he was a cruel genius. Yeah, well, that's how he made his money. He just, he, he you know, yeah. he eliminated the competition. <laughs> yeah. I, by the way, um, I haven't heard a word that Joey has said all the which is a Which is a good thing. It's not a bad thing, I guess. But, okay, I, I want to say this about Joey Reynolds. He was... He was. Are you listening, the most, No, Go this ahead. is true. Okay. He was the most talented person that I've ever worked with, and we've both been blessed because Joey traveled around the country. He's worked with a lot of people. Tommy Shannon traveled around the country, worked with a lot of really good people. But at one point in Buffalo, New York, there was such great talent, unbelievable talent. But and I salute Joey because he was the talent that everybody knew. Tommy Shannon was the talent that everybody knew. I got to work with them and the hound dog, George Lorenz, okay? But I want to tell you a quick story about Tommy and how popular he was. There was a naval ship somewhere up in Iceland and they came into port <laughs> and the local people would come out in small boats and sell them stuff. You know, they'd get had trinkets or food or whatever, okay? But they would yell up, uh, where are you from? And uh, they would yell down, uh, New York City. Oh, WABC. Uh, where are you from? Uh, <laughs> Chicago. WLS. Where are you from? And the guy says, Buffalo, New York. And one of the people in the boat goes, Tommy, Shannon, show, <laughs> Katie. I mean, come on, you're in Iceland. <laughs> okay. He was popular. Oh, and another bit of trivia about Tommy. He would travel to Buffalo to see his daughter a couple times a year. He did not like to fly. He would travel from the West Coast on a train. Now, I love trains, okay? I'll ride on a train anytime I can. But that's a long ride, coming and going to New York, you know, into New York from Los Angeles. Yeah. That's three days. Yeah, that's, way. I mean, it's a whole different world. And, yeah. you know, speaking of that, Joey, back then, and I said this a little bit in my introduction, it, radio was very, very important to, the, to a whole generation. It was different. A lot of people today, a lot of, of young people don't realize how important radio was back then. You know, you had the, your little transistor radio, you, you took it to the beach, you took it to school, you know, you're walking out of school, you're listening to your radio, you get so much out of that. And it was, it was not just the music, it was the personality. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about why that was. I mean, we didn't have a lot of the, the other stuff, the, the internet, the computers and so on. What was it like back then? Joey? Well, the, uh, the idea, Let's, let's start with Buffalo being the uh, history of rock and roll. Uh, the Hound Dog was on Lake Erie, and so was uh, Alan Free. He was on the other mistake on the lake in Cleveland, which actually he started in Akron, Ohio, moved to Cleveland. He was the Moon Dog, Hound Dog was the Hound Dog. And that was the beginning of, of the rock and roll era, and even so much so that uh, everybody, when they started to get more money and travel, went to Cleveland and Detroit. Uh, that seemed to be the place where Dick Burton, who was one of the Guy Kings, went. Uh, Tom Clay, earlier years, went there. Uh, Tom Shannon went to Detroit. I went there at WXYZ. You know, we all have, have had our, our journey. I, I went from Buffalo to Cleveland to Detroit to Philly. You know, I mean, we, we used to go on the road. Everybody would say, how come you can't keep a job? Actually, what it was, was you would get offered and go to a bigger market for more money. But it wasn't looked at as being... Uh, glamorous. It was looked at as being, uh, you know, like you got fired. <laughs> you didn't necessarily get fired. You got a better gig. But anyway, Tommy, Tommy did follow that route. And and in answer to what you were saying, uh, which is a uh, this is this is the, my take on it. First of all, we're living in a in a time of social networking. Radio was local. When it was local, you had local music, you had local personalities, and you had the local culture. Whether it was the uh, a crazy contest we had, which were involved sometimes with the law, 
whether we were involved with sponsors who were giving promotions and having fun with uh, with different ideas that they had. Uh, we were involved with the city uh, activity. And, and when you did that, we had local music. That's what I said. We owned a recording studio. We made hit records in Buffalo. We didn't need to go to uh, Chicago for it. We did it in Buffalo. And in those days, we, we had all of the local ties in, and that was social networking. Uh, we would listen to the radio for school closings, which you don't have to do now. At that time, uh, traffic reports. Uh, now the television is following that because they have helicopters. In the earlier days, television was bulky. They had big speakers, uh, big sound, and, and, they, and they couldn't go anywhere. They had big lighting and, 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 and uh, uh, bulky cameras. So they couldn't, they weren't mobile. Radio was very mobile. So we were the, fe we were the feeding station for television. Now, when the conglomerates came in and one guy owned 1,500 stations, then they kind of killed the game of local radio, which is probably dead right now. And the other part of it is that the social networking has been picked up by the public because as a rule, television is parasitical. It's a parasite. It lives through other people's work. So now you see where you have social networking, which is not as good as what we were doing, because what we were doing was a little more experienced, a little more polished. We were more sophisticated and uh, we were more organized. But the local people, their idea of entertainment is watching someone uh, blow up on TikTok, you know, in half a minute. As a rule, that's a different generation, but it's not generational. It's the it's a corporate stuff. That well, really you know, changed everything. Society is, is pretty, the universal aspect of society is people love good entertainment and they also love to hear things about their own area, their own neighborhood, the, the local aspect. And you just put your finger right. on it, Joey. Local is important and one of the things, and, and this is a shameless plug, one of the things about WBBZ in television so we try to be local, and we're, we're just about out of time, time now. It, it, it was an honor. Oh, just wait, all, wait, wait! Before, before you aside, go, before, wait, wait, wait! Before you go with Tommy Shannon, let's let me point this out. We have about he thirty seconds. Local. Go ahead. I don't, well, all right. He was local. He was local when he was in Detroit. That's why they admired him there. He was local in Denver, and he was local. And you know, Danny and I are boy are local, which means crazy. That's how we are. But Tommy Shannon okay. was was definitely Joey, a local Joey. hero. Yeah. Joey Hi. is brilliant. <laughs> Joey is brilliant, but he can't tie. He can't tell time. Thirty seconds. <laughs> Marconi could tell time. I, you know, and he didn't teach him that part. Anyway, we're just about out of time. So I want to thank everybody for watching WBBZ, why, why, where, where you your going? local you station, <laughs> and I want to thank you for watching the Big Picture, your local show, and I want to thank Danny and Joey two gems of Western New York. And you know what, we're gonna do another show about these guys and about local broadcasting because that's a show worth talking about. And, and for you people, the audience that, that likes local, it's worth doing a whole well, show why, why, just why on is that. There, why, is there, why is there no time limit on, why is there no time limit on a ball game? But we'll be back after a while still, and Joey will still be talking. The next time we'll still continue and it'll never stop. Joey, we love you. Danny, we love you. We'll, we love you guys out there watching. We'll see you next time on The Big Picture. Show.